Hello and welcome to the new series of Trishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about extreme weather events which are propelled by climate change. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS Mains papers. So let's begin with the topics of discussion. First of all, we will cover about the news. Then we will discuss about extreme weather events. What are these? We will also talk about climate change, the causes, very basic causes of it. We will discuss about 2021, the list of extreme weather events all across the globe. We will discuss about the challenges, the way forward and in the last of the segment, I am going to ask you a mains based question for answer writing practice. So let's begin with the news. The news suggests, according to World Meteorological Organization, climate change has propelled extreme weather events since the last few years. Now, it is a chain, according to the report. When there is a rise in the temperature, it causes the melting of glaciers and henceforth it causes the sea level to rise and of course, it's a threat to the coastal areas. This is a continuous change. And if we talk about this change, this change is now extreme and very in a very short span of time, it is increasing day by day. So this news piece shall be covered and we will talk about extreme weather related events. What are these? If we talk about the weather, generally weather does change over a period of time and natural disasters also occur due to many geophysical reasons and natural reasons as well. But because of the increment in the anthropogenic causes, it has actually give boost to extreme weather events in a very short span of time, such as flash floods, cloud bursts, increasing number of lightning strikes and cyclones. So if we have to define an extreme weather related event, it is generally an unwanted, unexpected cause and it because through the course of time, the extreme weather related events are unwanted and unexpected and they are all of a sudden causing a loss to property and lives. And as you can see the chart behind me, it is suggesting that the extreme weather events have increased from floods, especially because of proper, not proper, but improper urbanization, unplanned urbanization and storms. It also includes earthquakes, wildfires in forests, droughts, volcanoes and extreme temperature related events like we are seeing the heat dome in the Canada US region. Also landslides are a part of it and as you can see 88.9% are weather related that means they are given a boost by the climate change. Moving on if we talk about this particular graph since the year 1900s you can see how fast, especially after the industrialization started to take place in all the countries, the, the greed to extract more and more for, from the nature occurred and you can see how much weather related events, extreme weather related events have increased and now it is still increasing. If we talk about German climate, a climate risk index which is actually forwarded or pub published by German watch, it has suggested that these particular countries, especially the country of Japan and many other countries such as India, China, they are living in an area, these are situated in an area, people are living in such areas which are actually vulnerable to a lot of climate risk. India stands fifth. The vulnerability is huge for our population and people of course around the world they are hit by a double whammy of COVID-19 pandemic and extreme weather related events such as our own country. Seeing from cyclones to flash floods in the Maharashtra, the state of Maharashtra. Also, if we talk about many other events such as lightning strikes, these all are a cause of weather related events, extreme weather related events. What are the causes of it? The causes of climate change. First is of course emission of greenhouse gases since the industrialization process begun and the greed of all of the world has increased when it comes to 
getting their economy to the best spot on the best spot this has occurred not only from the developed in the initial days but also the developing nowadays deforestation as the need for residence for agricultural needs for commercial needs when these needs increased at an unprecedented and unparalleled pace the need for land increased and because of that deforestation did increase and they couldn't sequester carbon dioxide which is a reason why carbon dioxide continues to remain in our global world unchecked if we talk about the current times the carbon dioxide is present at 419 parts per million this is the largest amount of carbon dioxide in the last 63 years also if we talk about over exploitation of natural resources of course in order to build our economy we extracted so many minerals from so many rocks and because of that there was a there was no check on the amount we could extract so that is why we did make our lands degrade our water and air polluted also if we talk about variation in sun's energy they are different in every place they also play a huge role in warming and cooling of different regions also changes in earth's orbit and of course pollution these are also a cause moving ahead if we talk about certain extreme weather related events in the year 2021 how can we forget tote tote is a cyclone it was a cyclone which was the first ever cyclone in the year 2021 to develop in the arabian sea it was a very severe cyclonic storm and it hit gujarat taking a toll on the lives and livelihood of people also if we talk about the word tote tote was suggested by myanmar this name which is a gecko lizard just for prelims you must know this fact if we talk about the arabian sea it is becoming a hot bed for new and more and more cyclones because arabian sea is actually witnessing he getting heat up at an unprecedented rate even more than the bay of bengal generally cyclone if we talk about the cyclone yas cyclone yas generated itself in the bay of bengal region which is generally a home to so many cyclones but arabian sea is also witnessing the same can you tell me in the comment segment which country suggested the name yas for the cyclone yas moving on if we talk about this new piece this particular graph which will show you different extreme weather related events in different states for example if we talk about thunderstorms they have occurred in such an amount in bihar and in uttar pradesh also from thunderstorms to cold waves to rains and flood and of course lightning is also one of the reasons for people to lose their lives and livelihood this map is important if you want to you can take a screenshot of it moving ahead if we talk about cloud bus they are so now it's a norm for clouds to burst in uttarakhand's chamoli region in himachal pradesh and what not we are seeing floods in mumbai as well so many people have lost their lives even if we talk about from the world scenario new if we talk about the current times germany is also witnessing floods at an historical scale which is catastrophic in nature if we talk about how much people how many people have died there approximately 180 are officially reported moving ahead if we talk about kerala kerala is a hub to witness so much climate related disasters that it recently had a pact of 125 million dollars with the world bank moving on if we talk about the next news piece lightning strikes in india have seen a 34% of increment than the previous year now this study is important because for every 1% One degree Celsius increase in the climate. If we talk about the heat in the climate, that means the temperature. If it increases by one degree Celsius, it will cause the lightning also to increase by twelve percent. And this has happened. If we talk about Odisha, it has seen the highest activity in lightning strikes. And if we talk about lightning per density, West Bengal is there on the top. moving on if we talk about our next piece earthquakes we are also witnessing earthquakes in rajasthan region bikaner region also 
if we talk about from the world's perspective heat dome which we have covered in our one of the in new series heat dome was formed because of the immense scorching heat generated in the pacific ocean and it actually became a dome caught the heat and kept the temperature there for more than 40 degrees celsius the people who are not actually used to such a climate such a temperature they started to die hundreds of people died hundreds and thousands of people died in the month of june so this is what we are heading to this also sees another heat dome in the west is also an increasing chance also if we talk about the challenges challenges are many the first challenge is that co2 is a global pollutant it can't be locally monitored and of course if we talk about the glaciers the glaciers are of course an indicator of this because the poles are 2 to 3 degree much more hotter than the equator that is why the the melting of glaciers is there also the breaking away of the glaciers lakes are starting to disappear because of hydro fracture in antarctica so this these are all the reasons that co2 if it is unchecked at the local and international level it of course will cause havoc in the future if we talk about climate change it is still hypothetical to some people to some politicians as well we can't go into depths of that we have already seen so many speeches of certain politicians who are saying who even actually withdraw withdrew from the paris accord such as donald trump he withdrew from the paris accord because he thought climate change is a myth and of course if we talk about developing countries right now as they are trying to reach the spot of developed countries they are actually causing their economic activities to release more and more greenhouse gases now developed countries on the other hand they are, are not able to take the responsibility of the emissions they caused in the initial years of industrialization also if we talk about modern living that is the part of the problem of course if we go somewhere at any restaurant or if we go to take a happy meal at mcdonalds we are of course going to use plastic cups and we mindlessly and without any awareness and responsibility throw it away litter plastics not only in the territorial areas but also they tend to make way in the aqua regions our oceans which cause a lot of harm to the aquatic animals not only the land is polluted by the use of plastic without any substitutes without any cheaper cheaper substitutes this is not only causing territorial pollution but pollution in our waters as well of course it is going to come back to us because we tend to depend on seafood as well right let's move on and look at our way forward the first way forward is to generate awareness because that is the only possible way which by which we can have a de decentralized mitigation plan because if a child from the very beginning is taught about the importance of nature and the importance of not littering and not causing harm to our environment then only something could be done also if we talk about disaster management that needs to be decentralized from the from the village level village as a unit to the district level then to the state level such provisions should be made and each and every person should be made accountable for the waste generated and of course cheaper substitutes are something we should look at if we cannot have any other alternative of plastics how are we supposed to move on to better a better lifestyle people generally tend to use something that is easier in nature for them not cause any problems or hassles to them and at the same time fulfills their need so that is also something that we should look at as a way forward global and regional approach globally we have our paris accord which was signed in the year 2015 at the conference of parties 21 it is a legally binding agreement of approximately 196 nations they tend to they have agreed that they should keep their emission level the entire globe should keep their emission level well below 2 degree celsius for the century and limit it to 1.5 degree celsius in india we also have national action plan for climate change we also did our first ever hot spot mapping of extreme weather related events by council of energy environment and water it suggested that 75% of the districts in india are actually a hot spots and they are vulnerable to climate change and that report actually came days after the united nations environment program said that this year the world is this century the world is set to 
reach a target of 3 degree Celsius of temperature. So that's it. So if we talk about our means based question kindly practice this question. Disaster are not meteorological or geological phenomenon alone but are also determined by human interventions comment. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching.